let's do that, Craig. So I'm just going to quickly go through the stages and then I'm going to talk about the key focus areas within those stages. So I just want you to think of this uh, stage one, looking at foundations. And we're, stage two is about enablement. Stage three is about efficiency. Stage four is about effectiveness. And stage five is about empowerment. Okay, so now let me go back and let's think about what are the key focus areas for each of the stages and just give you an example. So the key focus for stage one, which is foundations, is really about basics. Setting up your portal, making sure the basics are in place, make sure everybody has the right level of access. That's stage one. Stage two, which we talked about enablement, the focus here is on activity, right? So this is about tracking all the key interactions that we're having. You'll often see page views, emails, ad clicks, social media engagements, sales activities, really important. So that's stage two. Now, in stage three, the focus here is on automation. So we want to get all the key marketing and sales and service processes automated so that you can free up some time and have the right people notified and the right contacts nurtured. That's a really key thing, nurturing the contacts. Stage four, when we talked about effectiveness, this is a focus on attribution. So here, you want to be able to confidently identify what's working and why it's working and do more of what's working. So that's the key part here. Stage five, empowerment, which here the focus is on continuous improvement. And here, now that you've freed up your time with the automation, you want to use that freed up time to proactively use the latest tools and grow your business. That's really the key of stage five. So that's it in a nutshell, the five stages. High level overview. We're going to dive into this in a little bit more detail for the rest of the show. But it's a five-stage plan and it's a maturity model of sorts. We want to take you from wherever you are. Maybe it's stage one, you're just getting started. Or maybe you're in stage three, you've kind of got parts in place. And it's what do you work on next? So, and Craig, I just yes. want to highlight to people that and this is from our use and conversation together is that people have different products, they have different business focus. So you, let's say you're a highly driven sales organization. You actually might be in stage three, four or five, but in terms of marketing, you could be at stage one. And, and so just understand that doesn't mean that everything, it, like let's talk about the product. If we break it up by product, we're not traveling through this uh, framework in a linear manner. It could be that you are in sales and service. You might be at stage one or two in in, uh, in terms of marketing. You could be at stage five. So just That's understanding where you yeah. are excellent is a really point. key thing. And, and, we'll and, and we'll as dive into that. Yeah, and as you see, as we'll go through this, um, we've created a document and something where you can go and tick things off or you can even print this. I'd encourage people, download the A3 brochure, get it printed on some nice cardboard take it away and highlight all the bits where you're at because that's a good representation and stick it in front of your desk on the wall to see what's happening. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, you will see it gets really detailed and we're going to go through some of that detail now and give you some real world examples because that's really what this comes down to is that this is the roadmap to growing better with HubSpot, right? And in doing so, we want to be able to clearly map the journey. And I always tell people, Craig, the analogy of, I remember going for a really long bushwalk, right? And I went through the bush and to our listeners all over the world, it's, it's like a forest. And let's say you're just following the path. You, you know, you kind of know, okay, I, I know where I'm going. I'm just following the path one step at a time. You can't see too far ahead, right? So that's one, one thing. The next part is I was cr climbing a mountain. So you could actually see the path and you can look at it and you can get really daunted and you go, my goodness, that's like miles and miles of walking I've got to do. But as long as you know how long it's going to take you to get there, how are you going to take the next step? I think that's the big thing. So you might feel overwhelmed here, but don't be afraid because you have a clear path to the to stage five so i want to encourage people don't feel like it's too much because there is a way forward 